Hello and welcome to France 24's weekly music show with me, Marjorie Hash. Now, not only will we be checking out new releases, we also have the pleasure of welcoming Declan McKenna, who burst onto the music scene in 2015 when he was just a teenager, thanks to his indie pop track, Brazil, which took aim at football body FIFA. Nine years later, he's back with a new record. Don't you want to get it? On the 9th of February, a time when most of us in the Northern Hemisphere are experiencing winter, he'll be releasing his third studio album, What Happened to the Beach. Declan McKenna, thank you so much for being here with oh, us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no, it's really great to, to have you back. You um, have a long-standing relationship in France with yeah. France. You've been coming here since you were a teenager. Yeah. How's it evolved, would you say? Um, really nice. Uh, France is one of the first places I was able to play my own shows, like in Paris and, and, and beyond, really. Um, so yeah, I've always I've always worked here with my label because and always played shows here since I was 16. I think the first time I came out to play show here. So um, yeah, just al always been somewhere we've managed to get to on tour and everything like that, and always welcomed us. So it's kind of been it really. It's, I, I guess it's a convenient place to come to as well. <laughs> just next door. <laughs> yeah. And also, there's a, quite a few uh, bands that you may like now. Notably, the big news here um, in recent days is the return of electro duo Justice, who have mm. announced their first new album in eight years. It's called Hyperdrama, and it comes out on April 26. Gaspard Auger and Xavier de Rosnay have already dropped two tracks from their album, including this one featuring Kevin Parker from Tame Impala. Let's take a listen. And that was one of the new Justice tracks, One Night, All Night. Uh, Declan, I believe you may quite like Justice, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm a fan, yeah. Yeah, so how excited are you about their return? Definitely. I was showing my housemate, Marcus, I was showing him my, the, their first album when, the, when this came out and listening to it. It's cool. It's nice nice hearing the combination of Tame Impala and, and Justice. They, they definitely, you can definitely hear them both on the track and like... Yeah, I'm just always interested when they release something because I think they have a real creative stamp and, and always kind of release something worth li li listening to. So I like it. It's mm. cool. Really strange video. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I like uh, on your new album, which I've had the pleasure of getting a preview of, you've oh. got quite a drancy track on it, no, track number 15, whose name has uh, eluded me. But let's get back to this new album, What Happened to the Beat. Um, now, you went to California to work on it and you worked amongst others with uh, Arlo Parks and uh, Lana Del Rey producer in the process of making it. Tell mm -hmm. us what drew you to the sunny, sunny state of the United States. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd been working, obviously, uh, you know, through the pandemic a lot at home. Like, I'd, I'd been writing and, and coming up with different ideas. And um, I, I feel like I just needed to really shape it into an album. So I thought about getting away. I had a few friends, obviously, that I've accumulated over the years in, in L.A., um, so it made sense to go out there to try and work on some music. And yeah, that, that was where I met Luca Bucciolatti, who, who produced the album. And um, we wrote a couple of the tracks together, this one, Sympathy, and a few others. Um, and it, 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 just seemed, it just seemed to make everything click. You know, I went with, with a bit of intention and it kind of started paying off really quickly. Like I had, you know, 40 songs or something like that, just that were really rough, really all over the place, and just gradually it, it started whittling down into into an album. Um, and yeah, you can kind of hear there's a different sort of st tone and texture to 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 the record compared to what I've done before. There's elements that that definitely have a sort of sunnier, more relaxed feel to them. Um, and it's quite a weird album as well. I say it's my weirdest sounding record. It's just a lot of um, a lot of different kind of compositions and things that are, that are a bit maybe wonkier, a bit, bit more abstract and yeah, uh, I had a lot of fun making it. Oh, it's very compelling and this new record is still proving to be 
relatable in, in the lyrics as well. Uh, how about we check out uh, the video for your song, Nothing Works. We've all felt that way. <laughs> on that video taken from Declan McKenna's third album, What Happened to the Beach, an extremely playful record, sonically speaking. There's a lot of uh, variety in sound and also uh, more chill uh, in some ways lyrically because, you know, you've, you know, you gained fame through uh, writing songs that were very socially conscious. You went from, you know, as we talked, calling out FIFA, uh, also um, calling out um, uh, people wanting to change um, you know, LGBTQ plus uh, ch children and making them, you know, conversion th therapy, but also calling out the British government for its uh, link to arms trades. It's very deep, uh, mm. but uh, you decide to be a bit more, more relaxed here. Was that, what was it that made you want to, to do that? Um... I guess I just always tried to approach a, a new record in a, in a slightly different way, and um, it really just kind of made sense with this album. I'd I'd almost found myself working on music as a hobby again at home, and and really just exploring, you know, what what I could do kind of on my own on a computer. And so when it came to actually producing the album, and you know, when I started working with Luca, he kind of wanted to do the same thing, and to just make an album that was more of an escape from like from uh and any of these sort of things than than like zeroing in on it you know mm -hmm. zeroing in on 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 a social injustice or a, you know the kind of things that maybe people are more familiar with me writing so it was just a different approach and and it, it made sense for this album to be something that um i really focused on doing differently because yeah each each record that i've made We've tried to change the process to kind of get a different outcome, really, and that's 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 been it. And and yeah, I'm re really happy with it. It's it's kind of like a lot of music that I listen to, really, that does just kind of help me zone out to an extent. You know, there's 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 more more to it than that, maybe, but like I I, I do think it, it compared to my other records, it um it can just accompany you through yeah. through time in a nice way and just just be be a sort of uh. uh uh, an accomplice. Yeah, it's good to have a bit of uh, escapism in the right mm. way. Um, uh, now, a new album means a tour. You're going to be playing a few dates here in France, uh, end of April, early May, notably mm -hmm. Les Sigal here in Paris. Mm -hmm. um, what can we expect to see live? Yeah, it's going to be going to be really cool. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I think we're just changing things up again for this for this tour. So it's going to be really sort of colourful and and based around this new new record, but still kind of playing stuff from across the whole catalogue, kind of three albums can be really hard to pick a set list. Yeah. But yeah, I've got Leon Bordeaux, Ren and Paris here, here in France. So really looking forward to that. And, um, and across yeah. the uh, Europe at large and, and the US yeah. as well. We, well, we've just played a lot of the US shows, so we're really well rehearsed <laughs> now. <laughs> That's great. You're going to be perfect for the show here. Um, well, how about we check out some other new releases? And we're going to start off with The Smile, a band composed of Sons of Kemet's Tom Skinner and Radiohead's Johnny Greenmood and Tom York. They've just released Wall of Eyes, their second album filled with progressive post-punk sounds. Let's check out the video for their single Friend of a Friend directed by filmmaker Paul Thomas Anderson. Be hitting the road in March, uh, Declan. Now that's kind of like a super group in some ways. Would you say yeah. if you could like pick any musician to kind of join your band, who would you who would you call upon? Prince. <laughs> yes. I, you could just get Prince to play. That's the old joke because you could get Prince to play every every instrument. Um, I I don't know. I I, I would love uh, uh, Annie Clark, Saint Vincent, playing guitar. She's one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, hard to say. Maybe, oh, 
John Bonham on the drums. Yes. <laughs> if we could bring him back. Yeah. So Dead or Alive, that's the, that's the band. It's pretty sounds pretty good. Um, well, thank you so much for uh, coming uh, on the show and telling us about your new record, which we're Oof. very excited uh, to uh, find out more about. Remember, uh, Arts 24's news is come is on constantly on our website france24.com because the France 24 news bulletin is coming up in just a few seconds. So it gives me enough time to thank Declan for coming on the show once again, and also to remind you to go follow us on our social media that's arts at arts 24 uh, we're going to play out with a fantastic artist uh, who is from belgium she's called shay and she recently released her third studio album pour vu qu'il pleuve which roughly translates as please make it rain here's the video for her track sans coeur featuring french rapper niska je vois bien qu'il s'attache, moi je t'en la pas, ça me touche pas, je sens rien. Je me rappelle pour son prénom, je vois bien qu'il est démon, moi je t'en la pas, ça me touche pas, je sens rien. Je te laisserai pas mon cœur, c'est très rare que je m'attache, moi je m'en la pas, ça me touche pas, je sens rien. Quand tu sais, c'est mon prénom, elle veut que je la démon, moi je m'en la pas.